So what's going on guys, this here and welcome back to a brand new video. For today I will show you how to get 5 star legendary gems for free in Diablo Immortal. So in this guide I will explain how the system works, then I will show you how and where are the best spots to grind, then what is the best way to outplay all the pay to win players in the market and how can you get their 5 star gems. And then lastly I will introduce you to end game activities that will not only reward you with gems but you will be able to efficiently craft them and much more. So if this sounds interesting to you then let's get right into it. So then moving over to the first way that you can get free 5 star gems and it is by crafting. So what we want to do is open our elder rift and our primary goal is to get these fading embers as much as possible. You can get 320 fading embers per week and the best thing about it is that you can do it as a free to play player. So the first 200 you can get by simply playing few elder rift solo but the other 120 you can get if you are playing with other players that uses their own crest and you don't have to use your own. I've personally have seen multiple players in my warband and in global chat looking for players to do crests. So if you ever see that message, then drop whatever you are doing and join these players for these free fading embers. So then after that is done, we can go to the rune store and here we can buy runes that we can use to craft legendary gems. For your crafting session, you want to buy 22 of these runes which comes out to 396 fading embers. So basically you can craft every 7 to 8 days. Once you have more than 22 fading ember runes, then now you want to go to the jeweler. So then here first of all we click on the serial, which is the apprentice jeweler. And then we select craft and here you can see that we can craft 1 star, 2 star and random legendary gems which can be up to 5 stars. As this video is how to get free 5 star gems so this is one of the best ways to do it. Don't forget that 5 star gems are worth 32 gem power, then 2 star gems are worth 4 and 1 star gems are worth 1. So if you want to play the game long term then investing your fading embers in 5 star gems is definitely the way to go. But of course you need to know that the system is random luck based. So if you want to test out your luck then try this method and good luck. So then moving over to the second way to get free 5 star gems and it is to save up your platinum currency and then purchase it in the market. The way you get platinum for free is to use the previous method and craft a bunch of gems and then sell them on the market. Every single gem that you craft is tradable which is indicated by this icon. So if you are one of those players that likes to play the market or if you just don't need the gem that you crafted then go to the market and sell it. My recommendation is to sell every single gem that you don't use because the longer market exists the more players will be selling their gems. So each day the gem price will slowly go down. So whenever you can sell them and if you ever need the gem back or if you want to switch out one for the other one then selling and buying is definitely the way to go. Then on top of everything else you can also go to the codex and here under the daily activities you can get these chests and this last chest will give you a bunch of free platinum. So what you want to do every day is slowly save up your platinum and then buy a 5 star gem. Most people say that this will take a long time but surprisingly enough I have seen multiple veils aka the pay to win players selling 5 star gems were pretty cheap because the older and older the game becomes the more players will hit that wall where it's hard to upgrade their 5 star gems so they will want to do the same thing as you but instead of selling 1 and 2 star gems and then buying 5 star they will sell their bad 5 star gems for 1 or 2 specific gem. Remember that the price will go down so much that if you constantly keep selling your gems then the rank 1 player in the future will have 5 full star gems. This game's whole system is in mind to play only 3 to 4 hours each day and then come back tomorrow. So if you want to succeed then remember that this game is not a sprint but a marathon. So keep crafting and saving your gems and who knows. Maybe you will become one of the strongest free to play players and that's about it. So with that said I really do appreciate everyone for watching guys and I hope you enjoyed it. If you have any suggestions, feedback or other good Diablo Immortal builds or guides that you would like to see in the next video then feel free to leave your comments in the comment section down below. And while you're doing that please click like, subscribe and enable that notification bell so this way you could support the channel and you won't miss any more amazing content from me. With all this said you have an amazing day and I will see you in my next video so take it easy, peace. Yo, I ain't here for the